UK Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Daybreak Classic is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm very happy to be covering this week's featured group. What a pairing. These two, they've been going back and forth at each other. There is quite the budding rivalry here. And this week, Henny, it looks like they're trying to take down Justin Rose. Not many people have been able to claim that. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be all rosy at the end of today. This is definitely a tall order. Justin has one of the most consistent games on the PGA Tour. He's like a golfing metronome of a man. The iron play, I'm going to say if he hits a fairway, when he hits the fairway, his iron play is just phenomenal. He's going to get it inside 20 feet every time, and then you know he's going to hold putt. So, uh, yeah, good luck with that one. Well, he's the perfect mix, isn't he? He's an English gent with a killer glint in his eye. Good luck in this rivalry. From around 180 yards out. Opting for the five iron. And he's safely on the green with that shot. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? It's 13 feet out. Unlucky for some. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. He finds himself in a share of the lead. Well, it looks like John McCarthy's a step back ashore, kicked off his boat shoes and it's going to give us a little bit of a condition of today's course. John, what are the players facing here at Old Marina Golf Club? Well, Luke, we're on the coast, but there's a good mix of uh, coastal and inland holes at Old Marina Golf Club. Lots of movement in these greens. Uh, if you are an expert at uh, reading putts, you're going to have a bit of a leg up, I think, this week. I love the fourth hole, par five, that stretches along the ocean, has a green that's well protected by bunkers, which probably might dissuade some from going forward in two. The seventh hole, similarly, a par five stretching down the ocean, but is much less protected around the green. And that green is enormous, by the way. So that'll definitely be green light city for the players this week. And one last hole, I really love the par four 14th. Uh, the players are gonna hit over the water to a fairway that juts out into the ocean on a peninsula. So that will provide some great entertainment this week as well. Looking forward to see what kind of creativity uh, is on display by these players here this week at Old Marina Golf Club. And now over to Justin Rose. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. It was on a good line. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And the third hole here at Old Marina Golf Club uh, looks very familiar, Rich. Par four, playing 444 yards. Luke, if you're a fan of Pebble Beach Golf Links, you're absolutely going to love this hole. Just 444 yards from the back tees. Driver really isn't necessary as there is out of bounds over on the right-hand side that comes into play in a hurry. Just avoid the bunkers on the left-hand side. Find the fairway. Second shot plays slightly uphill. It actually looks like an infinite edge pool. It's really difficult to judge distance control with that second shot. Still a great hole, one that you dearly love to make birdie on. Nicely done. 
Time to take a look at Justin Rose. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Well, that's not ideal. Finding the trees. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Well, every week there's a certain bunch of players that everyone keeps an eye on. This one seems to be exactly in that company. One of the strong favourites to win, don't you think, Rich? It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favourites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. This putt is from 14 feet. This one has eyes for the hole. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. This guy is putting the lights out of it this week. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Wow, that's an incredible drive. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Smart shot, always back into the fairway as a safe play. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Trying to get two, three under par with this putt. Looking for another birdie here. Hey, nice looking line. Ooh, a couple of birdies on the bounce. Look who's on a roll. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Now leading by one shot. Here we are at the fifth hole. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. What a putt started this perfectly. Just couldn't quite get it to drop. Well, they say a bogey pleases someone. 
the rest of the field buoyed now after that drop shot by our leader. Here's Justin Rose. Well, that'll play. And this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. Here we are at the sixth hole. Nicely done. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? He is right on the 150 yard marker here. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. And that should secure the par on this one. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Second shot here on the seventh. Opting for the three wood. Oh, I love this type of carriage, Rich. Going forward in two. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. <laughs> Terrific shot. Almost an eagle. And now over to Justin Rose. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. That'll help make a big move. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Going with the hybrid. <laughs> Playing within their comfort zone there. Would need to make a long putt to secure a birdie. Oh, 
that's too bad. Putting for a par here. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. The ninth hole here, though, at Old Marina Golf Club is a strong one. A really tough test to finish the opening nine. A par four, stretching 466 yards. For those who like to work the golf ball from left to right, you're going to have to take a little bit of a chance by aiming over that hazard on the left-hand side. But if you find the fairway, boy, I tell you what, that's a fantastic feeling because this hole has got so much beauty. I love the second shot. The bunkers on the front, but I love how the green runs away on the left-hand side. The design of this hole, especially the green, is absolutely amazing. Oh, absolutely flushed. Sitting at minus three, outright first here. That should set up another chance. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, almost went in. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Always nice to have a birdie putt. This is on a great line. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And that will take him to four under. Oh, this is a precarious position, if you don't mind me saying, Rich. They have the lead, but there's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. It forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. quality shot that one rich when we talk about the english group of golfers over the last 20 years really justin rose has been the the star of them hasn't he major champion world number one hall of famer he's done it all he certainly is that and i have to say he's probably one of the most resilient players you'll ever come across as soon as he got done holding out that shot at the major championship years ago turned professional and went out and missed 20 some odd cuts in a row and never gave up kept after it kept after it which that would have broken that would have broken most men not rose that's why he's gone out and become a major champion he is such a force in the game there's no reason why he cannot play at a high level for many many years to come the ball striking is phenomenal i love his stroke i love the way that he puts it I just think that he hits so many good putts that just don't go in. It just kind of gets under his skin. Listen, don't let it, Rosie. You putt it fantastically. Keep after it. I love this man's game. He's such a talent. Just outside 10 feet to the hole here, right on 11 feet to be exact. This is what they have left for a par. Ouch, that hurts. And that was a bogey by our leader. So the rest of the field feeling a little opportunity here to close the gap. Checking the scoreboard now. And this player is currently sitting in a tie for the lead with Tiger Woods. Setting up now on a par four.
That's nicely done. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Oh, I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. And choosing the eight iron here. Needs this one to kick right. Good shot there. And now over to Justin Rose. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Three over for the day. Well played, mate. And back to the play, shall we? What's in front of them, Henny? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. That was a gallant attempt. Six feet remaining to the cup. Nicely hold. And for par. Currently at minus three for the round. Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? Going with the six iron here. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. <laughs> Setting up miles from the hole. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Oh, they're going to walk this one in. That's disappointing. It's just about three feet away. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. a beauty great shot from the bunker it's time to check on the leaderboard and all of them are chasing tiger once again as we move to the next teeing off here on the 13th hole That one was fired out of a cannon. Henny, what's the player facing here? Yep, I've paced this. He's got a round 195. Had a fantastic drive. Going with the five iron here. 
Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. That's just inside the range. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Oh, so close. That'll sting a bit. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And now over to Justin Rose. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Opting for the six iron. <laughs> Terrific shot and a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. And this putt to move into a share of first. And a big moment for this player with just four holes left. Looking better. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will take him to three under. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Chosen the pitchy wedge here. Mm, maybe needed a better club from the caddy. It's a bit strong, this. That's not what they were looking for. A bit too much club there. They're in the bunker. But a chance to get up and down. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Oh, yeah. A thing of beauty. Oh, that was a tasty little morsel, wasn't it? This would be a great up and down from this spot. Wow. Yeah, that's some golf, particularly from that terrain. And with that hole, this player is currently tied for first with Brooke Henderson. And Luke, this rivalry we've been talking about is really looking like it will be down to the wire. Can't wait to see who comes out on top at the end of the event. Not bad. And Henny, what's he looking at here? He's got roughly 105 yards here. <laughs> oh. 
Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. A good chance to take it even deeper here. This putt's for four under. Oh, that's frustrating. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. That will work. Just one off the lead after that hole. Well, Rich, don't know about you, but my eyes are wide open standing here on the 17th tee of Old Marina Golf Club. Every player is going to be salivating to get here. This could be the easiest hole by a long shot on this golf course. The fairway, massive, most generous fairway out here. Second shot, a little bit uphill, but let's face it, just 506 yards, slightly uphill. I promise you, every player in this field is thinking eagle and nothing but. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. Time for the second shot at the 17th. Getting ready to play their third. One stroke off the lead. Wonderfully played. And now over to Justin Rose. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Wonderful shot. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. Now, this would be a timely one to hole. Let's make this putt. Always rooting for this player, Luke. I hope this one goes. Super shot, that. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And with that hole behind them, they're sitting in second place behind the leader, Brooke Henderson. And as this player tees off on their final hole, they're one shot off the lead. This is a good time to get hot with the tournament on the line. Nicely done. Well, they need to stick this close. A birdie would tie them for the lead and force a playoff. Going with the eight iron here. Oh, come on, sit. Well, that's one job complete, Rich. They've shimmied their way onto the dance floor. Yes, but can they keep their dancing shoes on, Luke? They need this putt to force the playoff. Just didn't drop. Long way away, Luke, so 
odds were not in their favor. A valiant effort, but not to be. And that will do it for him at this event. Well, Rich, we had high expectations for this player early, but sadly, no win in the end. No, they just couldn't quite get their game going in the final round. Unfortunately, comes up a little bit short, but what can I say? Another solid performance. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby, and Rich Bean, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.